Oh my god, I'm not even live? What a jerk. I'm live now? I just literally sat here drawing all this. Oh, I feel like such a jerk. Hi. Hello, is anyone actually here? Oh, brother. Sorry about that, guys. Holy cow. I got two people here now? Hi. Sorry to make you wait. I've been sitting here for like... I, I, I've sat up with a blank piece of paper and started drawing. I thought I was live. I'm live now? Can you hear me? You you lovely two patient people. Hi, Justice. You can hear me? Hey, Josh. Hi. Hey, Tangalang. Hi. Welcome, Josh, Justice, Tangalang. Hey, Generic. Hello. Hi, everybody. Nice to have you here. I thought I was live already. I feel like a yutz. Oh, boy. I was just... I've been talking to you for like 10 minutes, but you weren't even here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well... I was like, nobody's saying anything. I feel like somebody should say something. And of course, I'm glad I figured it out anyway. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Hello. Hey, generic. Uh, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, I want to make a little world. Uh, this is just a little part of a much bigger piece of paper. Uh, I want to fill this piece of paper um, with interesting, weird, strange stuff. Uh, and I want to do it based off of you know, my own preferences and also uh, your suggestions. So if you want to see something, uh, it's not going to be so specific as like, say, uh, I, won't, I won't draw a Pikachu, but if you want to see a rat uh, or uh, a robot or a cyclone, um, you know, that's the kind of suggestion we're looking for here. Um, a busy little crazy world. Um, if you're uh, familiar with Wimble Builder on Reddit, uh, that's definitely what we're going for. A complicated little place um, with lots of stuff going on. That's what I want to do. Um, and it can have people in it too. So I'll do a, uh, there's this guy, and he's got a friend next to him. A not specifically Big Bird. Big Bird. I just said I wasn't going to do uh cartoon characters, but I'm saying that this is just, this is a big bird, but it's not the big bird. How's everyone doing? That's so embarrassing. I hate that. I hope I didn't make anyone wait too long. I hope no one was going crazy in the, uh, in the offing. Dog, robot. Yes. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> Dog, robot. Am I on camera here? I think I'm on camera there. Yeah. Dog robot. Not to pee. Is dog robot being on? Not sure yet. Unclear. He's going to be about to pee on something. Why? Because how am I going to do all these tiny little details and not hide some silly stuff like dog robots peeing? Uh, okay, how about on this wall? A turtle person coming out of a sewer. Well, that just seems like a natural thing, right? That just seems like something you have to have in a picture like this.
I'm going to put an ice cream cone right there. It's out some ice cream cone. That might not be super clear. That's all right. Oh, sorry, I drew the turtles slightly off camera. There we go. Hi, Screaming8. Welcome to the stream. This is uh, me drawing a weird little fantasy world. The page is actually much larger than this, but I'm zoomed in. I'm here taking suggestions uh, for what should go on in this little wacky world that I'm creating piece by piece. I want to kind of get up to a second floor here, make it feel like this building is uh, complete so that we can kind of get past just drawing the building um, before too long. It needs a doorknob though, obviously. Maybe a little lock there. This is a, uh, when I'm on TikTok drawing, I'm using those Pigma pens. Uh, this is more of my regular speed, a Uniball Vision pen. Um, I love the, the little marks that the two make. So, uh, this is going to be some kind of a poster. We'll see what it's going to be later. I don't know what it is yet. Um, that's the kind of fun thing about this type of work, is we can uh, leave things undetermined for the time being. Um, wow, hi. Uh, a flying frog. Elephant in a tutu on a balcony. Okay, let's let's start there. Um, elephant in a tutu on a balcony. Okay, but it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like the, the biggest elephant, I'll just say that. Okay, let's see. Elephant to Not quite on a balcony, but it's an elephant in a tutu. Hope that uh, hope that satisfies some of your needs. Uh, and then, um, and then I've decided that I saw a request for a flying frog. I'm gonna draw the frog onto this poster. And the way that we'll know it flies is that it's gonna have. Uh, there's a quote I think in, in Wayne's World. Cassandra says. Uh, yeah, and if a frog had wings, it wouldn't bump. It wouldn't bump its ass when it hopped. Is that what we're pulling from there? Anyway, that's a. I'm gonna say this is a poster labeled "Fly Frog." Okay, we have this elephant up top in a tutu. Uh, one of the buildings be a pineapple house. Yeah, let's draw a. Um, is that a? Is that a reference to a certain? Uh, uh, character who lives in a pineapple under the sea. I know who you are, Justice McNeil. I know. <laughs> I know what you like. That's my wife, everyone. One of the folks in the stream is a sleeper agent. He's here. Working in the shadows. This is fun for me because, uh, well, A, I just like world building. It's not always just individual character drawings. Um, hey, is, uh, is Austin Baxter here? A penguin in a race car bed wearing a straw hat. Um, awesome. Uh... I don't just only want to draw individual characters on sheets. I don't only want to draw faces uh, in groups. And I don't want to have to always use a reference image. The nice thing about a drawing like this, um, I just drew a giant pineapple. I didn't, uh, I didn't make it into a house. But, you know, maybe the door's on the other side. We'll see. It can still de develop into a house. I'm going to uh, say that there's a corner here in the street. 
screw it down this way. Screw this over here. I think it'll be kind of fun to uh, change perspective a little bit. And oh, that was maybe a mistake. That's okay. Figure out a way to uh, turn this wall into something. I, I make that mistake sometimes. You want to draw the walls and stuff last because now I can't totally draw anything in front of it. Uh, but I could actually. Uh, hey, Austin. Glad to have you here. Um, let's see. Pineapple house. So a penguin in a race car bed wearing a straw hat. So then I'm going to say yes to that. We'll do the straw hat first. We'll do the little penguin's beak. I was trying to find something I could put in this uh, little area here. And I got the mattress. Why is this race car bed out on the street? I don't know. But uh, there you go. There's the penguin in the race car bed wearing a straw hat. Because I need something that would fit right there. And that's not too bad. The perspective change is going to be an interesting challenge. I think it's a good thing. Uh, have the dog pee on a rusted up something. Okay. Uh, a giant snake reaching to eat the end of the elephant. Okay, we were talking last night about uh, predators have the uh, have their teeth or their their eyes on the front of their face. The snake doesn't have uh its eyes on the front of its face, does it? I don't think so. This one maybe sort of does. There's a large snake. Oh, I totally drew him off camera. Look, we have to, uh, we have to readjust. It's time for... Time to zoom out a little bit. Hey, nine people are here. Nice to have you all. Welcome. This is the stream where I am taking requests in order to draw a weird mashup world with lots of crazy stuff going on. I wanted to try and change things up. Can't always be just drawing the same stuff every day. I want to try and do different things. This is a triangle headed snake. I don't know why, but that's what he is. Okay, uh, a pet watermelon. Uh, screaming snake is happy. Uh, yeah, dog. I'm not sure what he's peeing oil on. Something rusted up. We'll figure that out. A pet watermelon. Um, well, let's say that the pet watermelon is going to be right here. If it's a pet, it probably needs a collar. And let's give it some marks like so. We'll find out who its owner is in a second, but for the time being, I think we have the pet watermelon. It's just a random stool with the cheese on top of it. Here you go. So maybe the watermelon. Am I still on? I'm still in frame, right? No, I keep having to zoom out. Great, we're already getting to the point where we have to zoom out. Fun. Uh, and probably for the sake of uh, everyone's sanity, I probably need to refocus. Someday, when I'm a rich and famous cartoon streamer, I'll have some type of 
robot camera that changes the camera angle for me. Okay, there we go. Or like um, somebody I paid to do that. Um, okay, and then we need a block of cheese. And the block of cheese, turns out, is actually the owner of that uh, pet watermelon. Why? Look, I don't have reasons for any of this. And I'm the only one asking why, so I don't know. Okay, uh, I need to do something with this wall here. Uh, it's kind of just a generic wall currently. Um, I can fill in the detail behind the, water, the pineapple, but uh, I need something else to do here. Um, pet watermelon, glad to be here. Nice to have you, Stephen Micklemore. A rooster with a cowboy hat and gun holster with revolvers. Sheriff, Sheriff Rooster, huh? With a cowboy hat. I think I always, I think that's a good thing to remember. I gotta draw the hat first. There you go, there's your Sheriff Rooster. We'll get more detail about him later. Um, something else to go behind him, probably. I'm going to do something I want to draw. Like, um, let's go for uh, a waterfall. Let's say that uh, up here, from, from somewhere, for some reason, there's a little cave. And out of the cave, it's going to come a waterfall. I'm going to hit a jag there and come out further down here. I feel like waterfalls are one of those things that I kind of defer to when I'm drawing like this. I don't know why, but it kind of just helps to build the environment to me. Um, let's see, help me out, make the wall crack, hear me out, crack broken and leading into the abyss, just simply the abyss, yeah? Not enough as such viewers, hmm, I'm having a hard time with the stream strength, huh? Is it super choppy right now? Oh, I hate that. I apologize for the bad stream quality. Oh, woof. I was doing, it was doing so well earlier. I wonder what changed in my uh, ability to upload. What happened to my speed here? What happens if I go live on the other thing? I guess I can't exactly. Hmm. Oh boy. Who's here? Is it is it just insufferable, the stream quality? What a bummer. Hi Bob, mixed wiggle pants. Stream quality is poor. Darn it. Okay. Um. Just closing programs on my computer. I appreciate your patience.
hoping this maybe does something for us, but I'm not sure that it actually will. What are we looking at here on the live stream? Bad quality. It's a bit buggy. We must share it alive. Bob McSquiggle Pants, being a real team player, is a bit buggy. Rats. It's so frustrating. Bob, you're a trooper. I mean, Screaming 8, that's who was who said that. Um, how can I improve the quality of this stream? One second, I'm pulling it up on my phone just to take a look at how it looks from there. Slow mode is on. Oh yeah, so choppy. I hate that. Gosh. Well, since there's four of you, I uh, appreciate your patience. Uh, I know that this is not very interesting, but I really do appreciate your patience. And I'm going to try and resolve this for us if I can. Am I doing any better? Slow mode is on. Stream status is slow. Boy, guys, this is frustrating. I apologize. Um, Just gonna 